<laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the question I'm supposed to answer? Yeah, I don't know. It teaches you to work hard and like stay focused, um, but also go with the flow. I don't know, like balance in your life. That's what it is for me. Decision making is easier because you can be like more resourceful. When you're outside, you only have so many things that you can do and use. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, being put in an uncomfortable situation, especially when you are when you're outdoors and you don't have um, everything around you all the time and you don't have the necessities, um, or you take that back, you do have the necessities but nothing extra, um, I think that makes you uh, realize who you are a little bit more. And, and Times when things seem bad, they're not really that bad. <laughs> Packing, like preparing for like all conditions or circumstances and that sort of thing. I guess like it's just like, for me that part of like how I operate and how I organize myself, I feel is very born out of the um, outdoor experience. Um, I think it has. I actually didn't do like outdoor recreation until the summer after my senior year of high school. It has made me sort of appreciate time alone as a way of sort of, um, I don't know, being able to pursue, like I feel like my creative like abilities or whatever, my imagination has been fostered really by spending time outdoors. And how did it make you feel? Happy. I think it's really cool when you drive from Denver to Utah or you drive from Denver West, you just like see how um, expansive the outdoors is. I think it's really good for like perspective on how small we are, how big the rest of the world is. I don't know, one of those moments that you have with a bunch of friends in the outdoors that's just very, I don't know, you think back on it very fondly. Yeah. I was leading 12 kids up Mount Greylock in Massachusetts, and it's not a very big mountain. It's like almost, it's like over 4,000 feet, I think, but not big. And um, it would take us two days to hike up in what like you and I could do in probably two hours there and back. <laughs> and um, the like joy and the uh, pride and the sense of self accomplishment that they had when they got to the top was just unlike anything I'd seen and it was like it was unbelievable and I think that was the most meaningful thing seeing that week after week after I had a group made it up to the top and like see these kids who thought they would never be able to make it and never be able to hike that much um, get all the way up and know that they did it on their own two feet and you know without all the comforts that they've been used to um, and then to see this beautiful view that they get at the end of it uh, really I think that was one of the best things in the summer. That's perfect. That's all. Perfect. That's it. Yeah, that's all we need. Sweet.